Uganda has become one of the major transit routes for drug traffickers who come from far-flung places. Aware of the light penalties in Uganda's legal regime, many drug traffickers find it a safe haven. However, the recently appointed Director of Public Prosecutions and other officials are calling for tough penalties to save the country, grumbling with a spike in the use of drugs like cocaine and heroin. You've been reporting about uh, the increase of Uganda almost becoming a hub. We want again to work with stakeholders to ensure that uh, the law is revised and the penalty definitely is uh, is uh, stepped up. For us, we are proposing uh, on the higher end to have a death sentence in certain circumstances of trafficking hard drugs and also when young children are introduced by traffickers to this vice. The penalty for drug trafficking currently gives a light sanction. One can either serve one year in jail or pay two million shillings to be let off the hook. Many of the traffickers prefer to pay the two million shillings to walk to their freedom. However, in countries like China, drug trafficking attracts death penalty. A number of Ugandans are currently awaiting the hangman after being convicted for drug trafficking. Anybody below 400 grams of cocaine or any prohibited drug, then you can be given a sentence either of life imprisonment or years that don't go below 15 years. The DPP says investigations are underway in a number of cases that had stalled after his predecessor Richard Butera was appointed to the Supreme Court bench. So the backlog actually was not as big as, uh, but it was sizable. Glad to report that uh, it is uh, diminished considerably. I think there are just about 10 cases left. The DPP is also mulling over plans to deny bail to those arrested on charges of murder and rape. We are going to continue vehemently opposing bail for major offences and also the thing of bail pending appeal. However, this could conflict with the legal maxim of presumption of innocence until proven guilty. His office will set up a victim's rights desk in which it shall help the poor to pursue justice. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.